I don't even need this paper. What am I doing with it? Uh, All right. <laughs> Anton, here we are. Ooh, here we are, Daniel. So it's been a long time coming, but we're here doing the 2021 wrap up video. Yeah, we finally got there in the end, so. Finally. <laughs> 2021 wrap up, yeah, what, what did you see last year? Yeah, give us an idea on the market, buying off the plan and what projects actually does. I think 2021 brought out a lot of confidence in buyers. You know, the conditions of buying off the plan and securing something now, but also planning for the future um, was, was a very good way to sort of get yourself into the market and then also build up on your portfolio as well. Um, but did you see any trends? Like, I know, I know you were very much involved with, uh, you know, Gordon Street and Winuna. Was there anything that you wanted to touch on? Yeah, so look, yeah, no, I was very involved with uh, Winuna from the get-go. It was a, my first real project that I was on. It was great. Uh, very interesting because COVID hit, severe lockdowns, like no one could work. But, um, but it was great. You had 19 presentations in the first week. Uh, sold out in six weeks. It was 12 really nice townhouses. Um, it would be stunning when it's finished, which is on track for this year. Yeah, what's your feedback on 2021 with interest levels and people looking at buying off the plan? You know, inquiry is still very, very high. There's a lot of activity happening in the marketplace, but what we're finding in regards to trends is that a lot of Sydney siders just wanting to move out of the city, obviously because of the COVID um, conditions, and wanting to live a better lifestyle as they're working from home. Um, but yeah, like we even noticed that ourselves, like out at um, Parkside, the land release in Kimberley Grange. Yeah, we had 55 blocks, 1300 inquiries it was you know it was the first land release in a while but really just lots of interest you know land is still very much gold and and that's the only area left where there is land available and you've got a bit of news on that one as well for us we do we do so basically we're in the um the works to release 50 more lots in the parkside estate so we're still in the um finalization process trying to get everything mapped out but that is coming very very soon and you're on a few other projects in Wollongong. yep so Novello is currently under construction at the moment, yeah. so to speak. It's located on Young Street in Wollongong, so right in the CBD of things. Um, in regards to the development, we do have a display suite, which we're actually in at the moment with a you know fully functional bathroom kitchen to sort of showcase. Yeah. And in regarding um, what's available, um, we've still got you know your two bedroom, and your three bedrooms remaining with only 14 left. So we also have Infinity, which is currently on the BMW site. So commencement on that will be October this year, and it's expected to be completed around the mid to late 2024. What's really good about this one and what makes it so unique is that the location, the lifestyle, you're so close to the beach. You've got great concierge services as well. We've got three bedrooms remaining and um, there's, there's only 14 left. Nice, yeah, another one that's done really quick, so. Yeah. Um, I suppose a few of the other landmarks was actually across the road, the Signature Building in Wollongong. Yeah, that was a, that was a five year project for the office and for projects, um, which kind of got finished and done this year a very landmark building, biggest building, tallest building in Wollongong um, and first building, like I said, with Infinity there, first building to bring concierge uh, to, to the area. So it was a definitely a, a lot of interest coming into Wollongong. Um, and then we also had the, uh, the Central Park building, um, which is where Eurofood used to be, which is now getting knocked down. Um, that was 34 units, all sold pre-construction. So then what do you kind of, what, what do you say you find like when we're, when we're dealing with inquiries that we are for off the plan, whether it be you know, land sales, apartment sell, selling townhouses or something, uh, some of the concerns from buyers? So the concerns normally are, you know, who's the builder? What's the time frames? Yeah. What am I actually getting? And we've got display units like we are at the moment. We've got, you know, a kitchen, a bathroom. We've got models and color boards to show you the actual outlay of, of what you're going to be experiencing. And, and you can touch and feel these things as well. So I guess that really overcomes most objections. Yeah, and you're right, you know, like with technology, like now we've also got like the 3D renders and, and, and artist impressions and fly through models. Yeah, technology's come a long way. You know, we, we really try and introduce drone footage as well to sort of give you a, a large aspect of, you know, the locality of things and, and exactly the renders as well. Mm. So watch this space because we're just punching the numbers in now and then we're gonna be um, hitting the market very, very soon. Exactly, and then just to kind of build on that again, like that's not the only project we're working on, so. No, there's a lot more coming. A lot more coming, guys. It'll so be a busy, busy year. It is, so I hope everyone's enjoyed their quiet time. I know I have. I know I'm itching to start selling some stuff and helping people buy some, buy some property again. Guys, keep an eye on this space, I guess, is the, the best thing that we can say. 
and uh, we'll be bringing you more. And if you've got any questions, give us a call. We're the Off The Plan Specialists. That's a wrap. <laughs>